Hey guys, Bobber18 here, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we did more fights in the Glitz Pit, getting not as boring as they were to begin with, I guess. I guess that's just my opinion on it, I guess. Can I say I guess enough? Anyway, in this part, we will be fighting Rockhawk, finally, and doing the championship match, although that's basically fighting Rockhawk, so yeah. And, yep, we're at the title match. Rockhawk, woohoo, finally. Only took, like, five parts. Okay. We have to use one special move. I think that's always the condition for this fight, if I'm, if I, uh, remember right. So, yeah, that's, I, yeah, that's how, that's what I've gotten every other time I've done it. So I think that, I'm pretty almost positive that that's the condition every time. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Bobbery up because he can do four damage with his ground pound and Rockhawk doesn't have any defense, if I remember right. So, yeah. So, I guess we have a cutscene here. Hold up, dude, where are you heading? Th this ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah, you go this way this time because it's a special match. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I mean, we are at, like, the championship match between Rockhawk, so I guess it makes sense. But isn't the way to the ring the other way? Yeah, it, it doesn't seem right. I mean, this is, like, the only time we've done this, so it doesn't seem very right. Maybe, I don't know, but I... I guess I shouldn't judge them. Look at, look at, they all look the same. These all, these guards, why do they all look the same? I don't know. Oh, wait, what's this? This, oh, this is the other minor league locker room. It's blue instead of red and backwards. Well, I guess it would be forward and the other one would be backward compared to this one, but you know. Hey, this ain't the ring, it's a minor league locker room and it's empty. Yeah, really. Even the, the communicator thing, the GBA on the wall doesn't work. Or at least I don't think it does. I mean, it's like all, it's all blacks and it's not lit up or anything. Now for today's main event, the top dog of Major League, the Greg Gonzalez, is finally going to throw it down with the champ, the one, the only, Rockhawk! First to enter the ring, the f feral nuclear reactor. Ugh, is he going to blow? He's going to blow up or something? I don't know. It's not, that's, can we, nuclear re- I don't, never mind, I don't know. I don't know about nuclear stuff. Who doggies, champ, how you feeling, son? Your challenger's ready? I, I don't know what that said. He don't want to be a handful of this. Uh-huh. There's only me and the champ. And it's me. Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, what's he going to do, huh? Nothing. Oh, I wouldn't go putting me down like that. I got up here faster than you did. Yeah, really. Pfft, that's what. Who cares what the guy did to a bunch of its chumps? Because now he gets rocked! I don't think so, Mr. Mr. Rockhawk person. Hawk person person. Okay, yeah, we probably have to get out of here by ourselves. Maybe maybe they forgot about us. What? Locked us in? Oh my gosh, we've been sabotaged. <gasps> Plot twist. Kind of. I don't know. And now for our challenger, who is not coming in. Oh no. What happened to us? We're locked in a minor league locker room. Wait, did Rockhawk do this? Did he just try to... And I thought you said you were tough. If you're so tough, then why'd you lock us in a minor league locker room instead of just fighting us for real, Mr. Mr. Rockhawk? Is this supposed to be a dramatic zoom or something? <laughs> it wasn't that dramatic. I mean, obviously we're locked in here. Yeah, we gotta find a way out. Uh, so that doesn't work. The door doesn't work. Well, it works, but it's just locked. The bed doesn't work, or we can't sleep in it. Anything in the lockers? No? Oh yeah, Mario can also go in a locker, although his nose sort of sticks out. I never showed that off before, but I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. There's, yeah, it's definitely a minor league locker room. It's all moldy and footsteps on the lockers again. Hmm, wait, there's a peach poster right here. Can we do this? No? Well, maybe we have to blow it off. I mean, that's like the only thing in the room, so let's try flurry. Usually if you don't know what to do, there's usually going to be something in the room that you can blow off, or at least that's what I found. Ooh. This room, it's always so comfy, especially if there's like an actual door here and you could shut it. I don't know, it just feels so comfy. You know, I always thought this was like Rockhawk's personal room or something, but then I thought, isn't that the championship's room? I don't know. And I think that says 9, even though it's not the ninth, it's the 6th that I'm recording. Never mind. It probably doesn't change with the date, even though the GameCube does have a clock. Do these? No, those little lockers don't open. Anyway, we're in the other, we're in the blue Major League locker room. Does the store open? Rats, locked. They thought of everything. Yeah. Hmm. 
how'd they know that, wait did they know that that secret room was there but they must have if they thought we were going to use it or something wait is that the bathroom <laughs> we get to go in the bathroom uh uh toilet paper we can can we go down <gasps> we can <laughs> go down the toilet <laughs> i love that <laughs> <laughs> and then the guards are just, <laughs> they're just all, what's going on? <laughs> I love that. You can even go back down it if you want to go to the back to the other major league locker room. <laughs> Dude, I've got so much respect for plumbers now. Let's go get rock hockey. Yeah, really. The door is paper thin, although it wasn't what isn't in this game. Uh, now it's suddenly occupied. Who went in there? Oh yeah, if you check that before, it would say occupied too, but... I didn't check it before because there wasn't really any reason to. I, at least I saw that there wasn't. So I guess you can save just in case because I really don't want to do that again. It was kind of long, I guess. Well, I'm not saying that I'm dying, but just in case. You never know. You never know with an RPG type game stuff. And woohoo, we're finally here. We didn't have to forfeit or anything. Why would I forfeit to Rockhawk? He's easy. Now watch me die on him or something. If I die on him, I'm just going to be punching myself all over. I don't know. Yeah, I'll go, let's go get that chicken. Actually, he's more of a hawk, but anyway. Anyway. Let's listen to this crowd. Hoden and holler for the challenger, the Greek Gonzalez. Yeah, we're pretty popular. Yay! Now we can finally fight, and we have to use one special move, so I think it'll be Earth Tremor, so I guess I can just get that out of the way right now. Just because I can. And oh yeah, in the last part, we also got up to B, B rank, or B list rank, I think it was called. And we have a, a blue st a blue curtains now, and we also have a bigger a bigger stage and a bigger audience. Our audi our audience can now hold 100 people instead of 50. So yeah, that's good. Awesome. Har har har! You wouldn't should have stayed locked up savings out. So you did do that. What the heck? Wait, why? What did, what did you have to pay him to do that? You're the one that sent the poison cake too. Ugh. Did you know you did that poor Koopa? He he, he was suffering because of you. You, you stupid hawk. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll just get Earth Tremor out of the way right now just because I can, I guess. Because we have to do a special move eventually and it's probably going to be this. Ah, dang it. When it gets into like those really tight, those really tight uh, ones that you have to press, it gets kind of tough to do. So yeah, uh, yeah, it does get kind of tough to do there. So I usually try to concentrate a lot. Uh, I was trying to do the stylish for Yoshi there. Oh jeez, Rock has a lot of attacks. Most of them are just like ramming at you like that. Yeah, I'll do a spin jump, I guess. I was either gonna do spin jump or power hammer or. Power Smash, which each do the same amount of damage, so yeah. And Yoshi, I was gonna have Koops out, but then I discovered that Yoshi actually does four, and Koops only does three with his with their main attacks, so yeah. Poof, not too shabby. You're better than I thought. You may actually be fun. Now don't get your head swelled, though, because you got this ways to go. Check this out. What are you gonna do? Time to rock! What are you gonna do? Oh, jeez. Ah! Don't do it to Yoshi. He is like, you took out half of his health. Aw. I'm gonna hammer you hard really hard. Okay, I think I'll use a mushroom on Yoshi just because he kind of needs it. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we can also have fog now, now that we have the big stage. Fog will sometimes make it so that you'll sometimes miss. It, it, it's, I know this is hard to believe, but it usually happens more to you than it does to the enemy, unfortunately. I mean, who would have guessed that? Oh, well, once I say that, it happens. So I usually don't do any FP consuming attacks when the fog is up, just so in case I miss like that. Then it won't use up any extra FP. Now watch Yoshi miss, even though he's above the fog, and so is Rockhawk, so I don't get I don't get why that's... Yeah, see, they're both above the fog. So I don't get that. Oh, yeah. oh no! <sighs> How did you miss? Why didn't you miss? I don't know. Stupid. I'll use another mushroom because I have like three of them. I think I have, or maybe I, I had three before. What the? No, what the heck? All the punies ran away. Why, why did the punies come here? Actually, I could really use this. Oh, yes! I think that's the first time I got in a bingo. A bingo will also fill up your audience, so that's good. 
And we have 100 people here. Look at all the people. Oh, 96. Well, it fills it up most of the way. I think if you get a shine spray, it fills it up all the way. Oh, shoot. I was, I was going to use a mushroom. Dang it. How much HP does he have left? Oh, okay. We should be able to take him out on the next turn. Especially if he doesn't attack Yoshi. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock hawk back on the the rock back on the hawk. Okay. I should take taking care before the battle. I guess I'm being lazy, I guess. What? You, how did you not? I mean, that was a pretty good effort if you asked me. Ask me. You locked two rooms. Oh, yeah. He'll also go up in the ceiling like this. You just want to mash A like crazy. Wow, Yoshi didn't take any damage. To get him down, you can either use Flurry to belly... F or to belly... Sl or... I forget what it's called. Belly slam? or Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Body slam. Body slam. Or you can create Quake Hammer, but I really don't feel like switching to Flurry, so I'll just Quake Hammer. And Yoshi can do three if he doesn't miss. Uh, please don't miss, or else you're probably gonna die. I'm sorry, sad to say, but if you miss, you're probably gonna die, Yoshi. Oh yes, he didn't die! Woohoo! Bobbery came through with me in the end. No! I rockhawk the champ, the undefeated master. I lost to such losers. Who's the loser now? Rockhawk. Not special anymore. <laughs> Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got a mayor. I ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, of, without doubt. Honestly, the most legendary, amazing, and probably history-making bout of all time. I really <laughs> can't breathe after that. Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. Okay, we're the champion. Woohoo! So does that mean we get the belt with the fake crystal star in it? I guess so. Although we still have to find the real crystal star, and it seems like this would be the end of the chapter, right? But nope, it's not. Yay, we get the belt. Well, it's not really any use since we don't have the real crystal star on it. So it's the fake crystal star. Hmm. Ooh, now we get to go to the champion's room, remember? Yeah, we saw it. So the bed finally heals SP. That's good, I guess. Aw, oh, Yoshi looks so sad. Good thing where I'm gonna rest up right before- right when we get into the room. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna rest up. So yeah, long walk. I don't need to even know why they need to show this. They showed us the, the champion's room before. Like twice, I think. Maybe it was once. I don't know. But anyways, we saw it regardless. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you stay. Yeah, okay. And we have a gold communicator now, even though it's not really any use. Because there's no fights that we're going to be doing because we're the champion now. Yeah, he did really sound close about the crystal star. So where are we going to find it? We still don't have it. Ooh, wait. Another email. Hmm. Oh, wait. Not any email. Ugh. The thing from the air duct. We hear Morse code? I guess? I don't know. Now we hear the email. Sorry. I I don't know. I have my sound turned down on my TV because I'm, si I'm sitting right next to it. So I have to have the sound turned down so it won't pick up in the mic. And I thought that that was the email because I knew we were going to get an email, and I just thought that was it, so yeah. We can rest here, and well, we don't really need to have any SP filled, but if we did, then it would fill us, fill it up for us. But we do need everything else filled, especially Yoshi, because he only has 10 HP right now. And we can't go back to, to Rogport to upgrade him yet because we don't have three Shine Sprites yet, we only have two. Yes, I checked, just to make sure. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? I don't know. I guess we can just go through here. Morse code. More Morse code. It looks like Morse code. I don't know. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, long as I got that baby working for me. This whole bot ain't never gonna get weak. What What baby? Tootsies. Ugh. King Kate. <gasps> so that's why he disappeared. <gasps> what, what are we on to you? What happened? Disappear him? I don't want to get disappeared. Prince Champ. Prince Champ. Prince Mush, the champ. Girl was behind all these missing fighters. I should have known. Who else would have been? Jolene. She doesn't seem as powerful enough. I mean, she's only a toad. Not that toads can't be powerful. Actually, yeah, they really can't. They're only toads. Have you seen toads? They're pretty b They're pretty big cowards, if you ask me. But now it's not the time to discuss toads. It's time to discuss, to discuss Grubba. I think he's gone. Let's check out the drawer. Okay. But there's a star piece back here. First... I also one in his drawer over here, I think. Isn't there? No, maybe it's the- No, no, that's the door for the, the thing that we're supposed to do. That is the star piece drawer. And this is the door with his paper in it, I think. Yep. 
paper. What is it on? Machine using the a machine on the ring using the crystal star. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What are we gonna do? <gasps> you're behind this. I know that you're there. Great galloping gold pits. Gold pits. <laughs> That's a Mario in me. It is. Trust me. They're from the first paper Mario. Ugh. No, don't you run away. I, I have business to take care of you. Where are you gonna go? 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 I need to follow you. Even though I know where to go already, but still. But will we get Grubba? Will we fight him? Will we have to do anything to him? Find out in the next part of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.